Welcome back. The Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church is celebrating 100 years of service to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and they are celebrating in a phenomenal way. They've invited Greek tenor Mario Frangoulis to perform Thursday at the Winsper Opera House, and he is here with me now, and also Mario joined by uh, Angela Turner-Wilson, who you're also going to be performing with him. I am. I'm so honored. I cannot tell you how wonderful this experience has been so far. I'm really looking forward to the concert. Okay, tell us about the concert, Mario. Yeah, I'm, um, first of all, I'm very proud to be back in Dallas. I'm very happy. I've been here a few times, also uh, touring with Sarah Brightman and, uh, and performing my own concert uh, mm -hmm. a few years ago at the Dallas Opera. But this time we're performing in a, in a new theater that I've never performed before. I, I hear it's got amazing acoustics and uh, it's a beautiful contemporary uh, theater called the Winspear Opera House. I think you're gonna love it. <laughs> and uh, I know, so I hear, I see amazing pictures. Uh, even Marilyn Horn, who is my uh, great mentor and uh, a great legend in the, in the opera world, she said, I have to visit that place. I hear all good things about it. Yeah. So I'm very excited mm -hmm. also to perform with um, Angela Turner Wilson because she's got a beautiful voice and uh, is a cool person as well. Oh, and we work very well on stage and I think now, that's great. You mentioned um, touring <coughs> with Sarah Brightman, which yeah. is, you know, more contemporary type of music. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's so fascinating about you is even though you're a classically trained um, and, and singing opera most yes. of the time, you do cross over into some more contemporary things. Definitely. Well, I, why I, do you do that? I believe in bridges and I believe in bridges between um, the classical world and the masses and the people because uh, sometimes uh, the audiences have a very strange or a very kind of uh, uh, reserved idea of what classical singing is, of what opera is. So I have, I, you have to find ways of reaching out, and um, and and then they will come to you. You know. Yeah. So if you, uh, uh, what I do is classical crossover uh, genre singing, like Bocelli, like Josh Groban, you know, a few mm -hmm. like Sarah Brightman, of course. And um, when we started, uh, when we first started, it was Sarah, myself, and Andrea. Mm -hmm. And then Il Divo came, and of course, this is all <laughs> a whole new genre of music that is uh, uh, that exists now, and it bridges the gap between the classical and the new. Yeah, and you know, we were talking about this off camera <coughs> that mm -hmm. it, it seems to me now that that classical music and especially opera and this type of performing is becoming even more popular with yes. like kind of a mainstream yeah. pop culture. Way. I, I agree. I think so. You know, there's always going to be people that are interested in a beautiful song mm -hmm. yes. and a beautiful voice. And luckily, with this sort of crossover work that Mario has really brought to light, um, these beautiful voices like his can be heard and approachable to everyone. So, yes, I, you know, Mario said, I guess, was it yesterday? He said, you know, once Billboard. <laughs> got involved and they got interested. Right. Then all of a sudden, then you know, I mean, it, that's the ticket that's to mainstream. Yeah, right? and I think that's uh, that's one of the ways of keeping opera alive mm -hmm. is to feel that you are part of what's happening today instead of uh, a past era, mm -hmm. and uh, and that's how you will educate, I guess, younger uh, younger generations to get mm -hmm. to love opera and difficult uh, difficult. Um, uh, works like uh, you know Puccini's works and Verdi's mm -hmm. works and Wagner's works, um, they wouldn't have a, a way of being introduced unless there were people like Angela, mm. who is actually also, uh, to her uh, uh, credit, you know she teaches every now and then and she um, can uh, you know transmit this love that she has for opera and her beautiful opera technique and her voice to younger people. And can we great. talk about the training for a moment because, <coughs> um, and I'm assuming Angela with you as well, not just singing in English. Right. Just like Mario, English, Spanish, Italian, German, Greek, am I missing one? Um, French. 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 Russian. <laughs> Russian. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean the training, the, the, the education behind it has to be so incredibly intense. Yes, of course. Um, you know, Placido Domingo, I asked him once when I was young, as I was a student at Juilliard, and uh, I said, what would your advice be for a young person who's going into this world? Because it's a, it's a difficult, very competitive world. And he said, I have three words for you, work, work, work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he was right, because this, this is, there's no secret. This is exactly we what, uh, what we need to have do. have to work hard. Well, work I'm so hard. excited about this concert, as Thank are many. So as we get ready to go to break, could you sing us a little something? <coughs> is that putting something. you on the spot? Ooh, what a treat. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> maybe a Greek song? 
I would love a Greek song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Goosebumps. Okay, for tickets to Thursday's event, you can go to attpack.org or call 214-880-0202. And you're such a good sport. Thank you. Uh, there's never a dull moment when our next guest is around. He's got those cute animals. I don't know if we call snakes cute, but some of them make your heart melt and others might send you running. We're back to visit with Critter Man. He's up next. Oh, that was